Praise the Lord. This is Sister Marilyn Belcher, and I am the pastor of the First United Pentecostal Church here in Centerville, Alabama. And I'm so thankful that you are with us today. I'm thankful that God is still in control. Every day, it seems like it brings something new down the pike, and we just wonder, where is this coming from? But it's okay, because I know that God knows, and He's watching over His children. He's watching over us. He's protecting us, and I just tried my very best to leave things in the hand of God and trust Him that He is going to protect us and that He knows what's best for us. And so I just thank him today for the fact that we're able to do another video. I thank him for the breath of life. I thank him for the health that we have. I thank him for all things. And so today I just pray that this finds you doing well as also. And I just pray that if you're in need of anything, I want you to know that God is the answer. Today, I'm going to uh, give a very special shout out to Brittany. Uh, I try and do this each week, but her mama told me that Brittany really loved the background, which is my uh, fall and Thanksgiving background. So today, I just try to focus in on the turkey, uh, the turkey couple that is behind me here. I've had it many, many years, and, and I, I told my sister when I got it, I said, this reminded me of her and her husband. So today, Britt, Britt, here are the turkeys, and, and uh, they say hello to you as well. I'm going to be preaching today the next few minutes on when nothing is everything. And I'm taking my scriptural text from 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, and verse 7. And the scripture says, Cast in all your care upon him, for he careth for you. You know, there comes a time in all of our lives when we get uh, information overload, we get emotional overload, we just get overloaded. And, and it seems when we reach that point, we just can't take any more in. We can't, uh, we can't carry anymore so to speak because the load feels too heavy and and I just think about so many times and I know I've preached on it many times but I think about how the Lord took the disciples apart into a, a quiet place into a desert place and, and, and they didn't even have a place to eat and they, they, they needed to be alone with the master so many times we find our sales uh, in that same position, especially in this day where everything is so high tech and everything is so fast and it seems like we got to be constantly making quick decisions without any time to think about it and all. And, and so I found myself there recently in the last few days and the Lord just provided a place for me to get away and it was up in the mountains uh, in Alabama. It was Mount Cheha. And I'd never been there before. And I did not know what to expect. And I found out uh, that the only restaurant that is there on the mountaintop is actually indefinitely closed down. They've got a sign on the door that due to uh, lack of staffing and, and other reasons, it's indefinitely closed. And there are are no stores and there's no shopping and 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 the only little store is where you check in and you check out and they have have the bare necessities that hikers or campers would want but other than that there's no type uh, of stores and so then I found out once we got up into uh, the cabin there was no phone coverage. It was extremely uh, scanty, and uh, it's just little. It was like a, a hit and a miss, and it was more misses than hit. And so it's like, man, I can't believe this. And you're just out in nature. Now, if you don't love nature, 
If you're not a hiker, if you're not one that wants to be outdoors, then you probably need to find a place that has more, quote, entertainment. But if you are a nature lover, if you love getting out in the quietness, if you love getting away from all the, the busy life that we live, this is the exact place for you. And so I loved it. And so my daughter, I got in touch with her one day. And here was some of the questions that she asked. She said, what are you doing? I said, nothing. She said, what is there to do? I said, nothing. And she said, you mean there's no shops? I said, no. She said, there's no restaurants? No. She said, there's no good phone coverage? No. But I told her, but it's everything that I needed. I needed peace. I needed the quietness. I needed the tranquility. I needed the rest and the healing of my soul, my mind, and my body. What when I said nothing, I'm doing nothing. I was doing everything that I needed to do and that I really wanted to do. You know, we get so busy, especially doing the Lord's business, that we forget to take care of ourselves. So many times we're taking care of the church. We're taking care of the people that make up the church. We're, we're, we're trying to spread ourselves so thin that we really don't have time for our own families. But we don't have time for ourselves. And we find ourselves getting burned out. And we can't be of no good to other people if we're not being good to ourselves. I find in Galatians, the sixth chapter, in verse 7, and the Bible says there, and I know I've read it, it says in, uh, I'm sorry, in verse 9, Galatians 6 and 9, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't become weary in doing good, because then the devil loves to attack our minds. We begin to think people are taking advantage of us. We begin to think people don't appreciate us. We begin to think I'm the only one that's doing this when that's not true. People do love you and people do appreciate you and people's not taking advantage of you most of the time. But the enemy begins to talk to us because we are allowing ourselves to become weary in well-doing. And we need to step aside. We need to find that quiet place. The biggest thing that I did in the few days I was gone was swing. Swinging in a swing, or swinging in a swing. We found two swings. One was by the lake, and one was over in what they call the Enchanted Gardens. And it was just a little place, mostly for kids. But there was big swings, and, and they were built to hold a lot of weight. So that told me a lot of big adults had been in those swings. And we would just swing. The wind was real crisp, and it was cool, and it was beautiful. We were not on a timer. We wouldn't have to answer to nobody. We didn't have a schedule. We just went. We went on some trails, but I couldn't do a lot of them. And there was one that was called the Pulpit Rock. I started trying to go on that trail. And found out real quick, if you go down the trail, you got to come back up the trail. And that would be part of the mountain. So we just turned around and 
went back. And then the next day, Sister Tammy that was with me, she went all the way to the pulpit rock. And it, it extends itself out over the mountain. Now, I sat in the car. I loved the wind. I love hearing the leaves falling. She came back all wore out, happy as a lark. It wasn't anything really to write home about. But we were relaxing and we was allowing God to heal us. You know, before I left, my daughter gave me this smartwatch. <laughs> I can safely tell you I'm very good at it, at telling time. And that's the only thing I can do on that watch so far. I told her, I said, you're going to have to help me to know how to program it and learn what to do. But she gave it to me a couple of nights before I went on the trip. And thankfully, we didn't have good phone coverage. So I didn't have to wear it. But then this morning, I got my first message over my phone. And I was thinking, yes! So here I go. I'm as illiterate as can be on these electronics. And I sent a message out. Then I started getting messages said, wrong person, wrong person, wrong person. So I can say this morning, I don't know where that message went to, but I wonder if Bigfoot somewhere in Timbuktu is wondering why he got a message from Sister Marilyn. I'm saying that in laughing because a few days ago, I would have been all stressed out. But I learned nothing can become everything. I feel relaxed. I feel excited. I feel like, let's do it. Let's just get right back in there and keep fighting the fight. You know, there's nothing that's more important than the saving of the soul. That's everything. The most important thing in life is for our soul to be right with God. So this morning you may be frustrated. And you may say, well, I can't take a vacation. I can't get away. Well, you may not be able to. I was just blessed. But I can tell you what you can do. You can get along with God. You can let God, the healer, touch you. He can speak peace. It's a peace that the world can't give. And it's a peace that the world can't take away. Learn that really doing nothing for a, a, just a span of time is everything. Step back. It's okay if the dishes are dirty. And it's okay if you didn't sweep the floors today. And it's okay if you didn't wash the last few pieces of clothing. They'll be there. But step aside and just let God minister to you and get a new outlook that God really is in control. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now and I thank you that you taught me, you taught me the lesson that nothing is everything. You taught me how to be quiet in a quiet place. You taught me how to listen when there's nothing to hear but the rustling of the leaves. But yet in that, I heard the voice of God. I pray for the dear people, God, that where frustration is running rampant, that you would speak peace to them and you would help us, God, not to grow weary in well-doing. 
I give you the praise for it all. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.